Hey everybody, welcome to the Easter Jeep Safari. Now here's the hard thing about Easter Jeep Week is there are hundreds of builds out here and a lot of them are very similar. Big tires, similar lifts. And then we came across our friend Mark Turner. Tommy, what's going on? Mark, good to see you. You too. And Mark has something really unusual. This looks like a bobbed Gladiator, which is already pretty cool. It's got 40s, but what makes this thing so special is that right there. Yeah, it's the Accuair Air Suspension. The greatest thing about the Accuair Air Suspension is it doesn't matter what you're going to put in the bed. It doesn't matter if you're going to put a winch and a bunch of other stuff on. It automatically goes back to its 4-inch lift height but under 25 miles an hour you get crawl control so you can do stuff like those rocks behind us and just adjust your suspension and get right up without any issues at all and you bet yeah we're gonna try those rocks behind us to see if these bad boys can do it but what's so unusual about this right is since the TJ and the JK and the JL the suspension lift industry has evolved but there hasn't been that big of a dramatic shift and Acura really is the first company coming in that's just throwing away the rule book and doing something totally different yeah it's all about technology things have changed so much and if you don't live with those technologies, you're not going to get anything better. You're not going to come out with something that actually solves their problems. Like getting in and out of a lifted Jeep is really hard. Not anymore. We can drop the air suspension all the way down to stock height, even with 40s. Hop in, punch your button, get on the trail. All right. Now, I don't know if I believe that yet. So we're going to drop it down and let's see if we can get in even with 40s. So this Jeep is on 40s, which a few years ago, Mark, would have been like monster truck levels. Monster truck. Yeah, now at Easter Jeep Week, it's kind of the new standard. It's the normal. But this is a massive tire. And, you know, to run this tire, you need a lot of ground clearance, which means getting in and out, especially without a set of side steps, which ruin your brake over, can be a little bit of a challenge. But this Jeep has a trick up its sleeve. You want to hit it? So, you can do this both with the control or with the app. In a matter of seconds, you can completely air out the bags. And look, look, this Jeep's got 40s, and now the seat is at my butt height, which is unreal. I mean, that is truly a game changer for folks that want those big tires but want to daily live with you their do. Jeep. That's but then, awesome. But once you're in it and you want to go on the trail, you just punch the number two button, and this is what you get. Yeah. Now you're back to ready to hit the trail time that quick. So, Mark. You know, we deal with a lot of OEMs that have height adjustable air suspension, yep. and it usually moves at a snail's pace. Yep. How is Acura able to, to move this Jeep up and down so quickly? Again, it's all technology. Brad, the guy that actually designed all the brains of this thing, makes the computer work incredibly fast. He makes the compressor work with, that, with the airbags, so it moves quick up, moves quick down. The whole point of this thing is to be a user-friendly system, and it's also the geometry. The geometry on this thing's correct. It's 100% bolt-on, but the whole point is make it work. Make it do what it's supposed to do without having to rethink it every single time you get in the Jeep. Now, when you say the geometry is the same, can the axles move the same? Can you still use a sway bar disconnect? Like, how does that work? Yeah, you can still use all, you can use the standard accessories as long as it fits with the suspension. We've got a list of stuff that actually works on it. Um, the Rubicons, of course, you don't have to worry about it because it unlocks as soon as you hit the button. On my Jeep, when I go wheeling, I take the, I take the sway bar off when I'm wheeling. I just don't worry about it. I take the links off. Sure. But the key to this thing really is the geometry is set for the lift. So after 25 miles an hour, the JT is locked at four inches of lift. The JL is locked at three and a half inches of lift. But under those settings, under 25 Five miles an hour under crawl control you can do anything you want you can get in and out you can even drop it to get in your garage wow. but when you want to go off-road go off-road have a great time adjust each side um, never have to worry about anything all right mark so we just hopped into this jeep and we're in the lowest suspension height so walk me through what the control does and how it works yeah it's pretty cool so you're all out which takes all the air out you just press and hold the double arrow down and that takes you down to actually below the factory height of what the uh, Jeep would be with just normal normal tires on it. So we're actually lower than that. But then once you're ready to go, you can just press one and that takes you up to this, on this Jeep takes you to three inches of lift. You can press the two and that takes us up to four inches of lift. And this is what you're gonna ride down the road at is up to four inches of lift. But under 25 miles an hour, we call it crawl control. You can actually hit position number three and that's going to put you at five and a half inches of lift. So now you can clear anything you need to clear. And remember too, if you're driving a JT, you see these guys dragging the backs all the time. Yeah. Same thing. You can air up just the rear. That's so really cool. So you don't whack the actual frame rail. So you can actually air up all four corners independently. You can. Under 25 miles an hour, you have full control of everything that it does. And of course, this JT, we've got front and rear lockers. We do. And. It's not going to look like much on camera, but that's nothing but sky. And <laughs> what's wild is that the um, 
Um, the ride quality, I think, you know, objectively speaking, has gotten better from the air suspension than over the standard coil springs. I remember last year when you first rode in the Concept, you weren't sure too much about how it was gonna feel. But you know what, now you can really feel it. It's a it's a great ride, it's not harsh. You're really not tired at the end of the day of wheeling. All right, so when we featured your Jeep last summer, Mark, uh, we told folks to head over to your website and find out more info. But now there's another channel. You guys have a pretty big partnership going on. It's the greatest channel in the world, to be honest. So effective now, you can actually buy any of the lift kits that Acura has for the Jeep Wranglers directly from your dealership. It's under Mopar Affiliate Program. You just walk into the dealership and you want to buy your new Jeep, go to the parts counter, buy it, they'll finance it, they'll install it, they even warranty it. Interesting. So one of like the big concerns I had about the system is like longevity and obviously partnering with an OEM supplier like Mopar, there's a certain standard of reliability you have to meet. There really is. Yeah, working with those guys has actually been an incredible blast. It did take 11 months to get it finalized, to get it done, but it's a great organization. They've been a really fun to work with and they are really excited to get this launched. That's awesome. And there was a Jeep this year. One of the concepts built through Jeep had the Acura system on it, which was really cool. And if you you really want to impress folks I mean yes a 40 inch tall tire will do it the real way to do that is to pull up and just air out those bags and people lose it exactly right how did you like the concept it was cool yeah, it's it a was good really one. cool so one thing which I want to be transparent about which I think is really unusual about Mark and, and the Acura team is this year's Easter Jeep Safari week is brought to you by these guys but I've never <laughs> been with a gentleman who's like just go run it if it works great if something happens show it that's the point. You can't, you can't, you can't make these things gimmick. Either it works or it doesn't. And that's why I tell you is like, take the hardest line, beat on them, wheel them, drive them. That's why we gave you that Jeep. Right. To say, do whatever you want to do with it. Because if it doesn't work, then we need to tell people it doesn't work. And if it does work, then we did our job. And you've been running this Jeep throughout this Easter Jeep week so far. And how has it been doing? Actually, I had this Jeep here last year and it was only on 37s. Okay, only on 37s. Only on 37s. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know what? I want 40s. I want to go a little bit. I just want to have a lot more fun this year. And I've been having a blast with this thing. I mean, Cane Creek was a hoot. Um, everything we do is just so much fun. Now, one question I have for you is, um, so the, the system comprises not only the four corner air suspension, but you also have a compressor and, and a tank as well, right? We do, so you can air up your tires when you're done at the end of the trail. If you go camping, you can air up your mattresses, you can air up what, your bicycle tires, anything you want to air up, you can air up with the system. It and, all comes complete. And this vehicle's got air lockers in it. It does, so I have air B lockers on this thing, and I actually run the lockers off my air compressor and my air tanks that run our suspension. That's really interesting. Yeah, so you don't, you don't need multiple products to fix it. Interesting, okay. And um, like performance-wise, have you had any issues with, with no. reliability? It, it's been a blast. I just I just gotta tell you, it's just it's so much fun to drive these things around. Now what I'm surprised with is um, you know, I keep coming back to this, but there's a lot of OEM vehicles that have air suspension. There's a lot of OEM vehicles that are known for air suspension failures, <coughs> Range Rover. Um, <laughs> this is a very different suspension design than that though. It's totally different suspension design. If you think about it, plus when the Defender air suspension failed, they were using technology from the 80s. Mm. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, things have come a long way. Our airbags are not an airbag. They're actually, a, I call it, and they call it the, at the, at our company too. It's an air spring. It has a spring curve just like a regular coil does and that's why it rides so well and where you put it in the system in the old days an airbag you just aired it up to 80 psi and you got what you got this one here the bag will actually roll over the piston come back up and that's what creates the great ride quality and also longevity to the kit that's interesting okay and um so I guess it's what's important to realize is like not all air suspension setups are the same. They're not. Okay. You know, it's it just like, it'd be like anything. Tire technology from the 80s is totally different than today. I mean, come on, we didn't have 40s in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have 40s. So it's like technology keeps keeps evolving and companies need to evolve. And I will say that's the thing about Easter Jeep is that, you know, I run a company that is in the off-road community. If you're not at Easter Jeep wheeling these things, then are you really in the industry? Oh, you've got to be an enthusiast and you've got to believe in it and you got to love it and you got to run it. This is my daily driver. This is what I drive. This is what I wheel. Now, have you guys tested the system to work in like super cold and super hot climates? We, we do. Um, with super cold, the only thing you have to do is you actually add air brake uh, antifreeze, just like you would in a semi truck. You do it once. You do it once a year. Just put a little bit of oil in there, and that keeps the actual freezing from happening. Because you know there is condensation in a compressor, right? And so you got to take a little bit of maintenance to it, but as long as you do the maintenance, it's not an issue. So let's say 
you buy this Jeep and you plan on doing the Mark method, which is using it and driving it like you stole it, and you're on like <laughs> Pritchett Canyon, yeah. and maybe you like bust an airline or something. Yeah. Is there a way to fix it out on the trail? There is actually. We actually offer a little repair kit that even comes with an extra compressor, it comes with all the air fittings you could use, it comes with anything you can imagine that would fix the problem. Um, they would get you off the trail and even get you back home. Okay. So it's not like uh, like in the old days when if, if you were in an air suspension vehicle, okay, this is interesting. So we're fully flexed out right now. Yep. And we didn't feel any limitation from the setup. And you won't. So it allowed that maximum wheel travel. It does. Interesting. The whole point of this suspension, and I, and I told you this last time too, is that what we're trying to do is keep all the tires on the ground. We right. Make the suspension, continue the contra contact on the ground. If we do the contact, well then we're good to go. Because the big thing, right, like one of the big reasons people buy Wranglers and JTs is they like that flexibility of the front solid axle yep. and what it allows you to do. And I was kind of concerned like when you, when you brought me out here that like, well, maybe we're not going to see that same capability. But at least like seat of the pants experience, I mean that is all the way flexed out through that massive hole. Yep. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. And we're not getting any limitation or any kind of nope. problems from that front end or the rear end. And you're not even running lockers right now. You're just in a yeah. four-wheel drive car. Right. Four wheel drive Jeep. So open diffs. You're open yeah. diffed right now. So you're not even using your lockers and look what you're able to do. Right. Really interesting. Now, um, you've been in this industry. When did you start in this industry? I started in this industry back in the 90s, racing Baja of all things. In Baja? Yeah, wow. back when there wasn't GPS. There were cell phones out there. You had to just kind of give you a paper map and wish you the best. And, and you would take off and spend 24 hours in a truck driving across Mexico. Yeah, and what I think is really interesting about you, Mark, is you have run some of the largest, most well-known aftermarket companies in the Jeep and four-wheel drive world. Um, and when you called, I was really surprised that you were this excited about this product. I'm excited because it's something totally different. We created we created a category that never existed really, and we're having great success with it because we took the time to develop it the right way. And we have an amazing team in Merritt Island, Florida. They build it there, they package it there, they love it there, they warranty it from there. I mean, if we get one if we get one customer call, we all take that very seriously. And um, made in the USA. Made in the USA. And if you were to go to the Acura site, what would this setup cost if you see it? This kit's us. Uh, Six thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Mm -hmm. And look, at at first you think, well, that's a lot of money. But some of these high-end suspension setups, they are. right, that don't offer height adjustability, are going to be that, if not more than that. Yeah, the greatest thing is it comes with an amazing ride quality, a great, great, a just great adjustability for anyone that tows or anyone that wants to fit inside their garage. It comes with JRI racing shocks. So JRI has been making F1 racing shocks, military shocks. These guys are the premium shock line if you want to get into NASCAR or F1. They make our shocks, and these things are tuned specifically for these spare bags Very cool. and that's another reason why it rides so great obviously mark these vehicles are available with a number of engines two liter v6 392 is it a different part number for the suspension can they all kind of cope with it how does that work yeah actually there are different part numbers for the different models of the vehicles so like your 392 your 4 by e your e-torque and the diesel jl is a different part number but you know what the only reason it's a different part number is because there's so much stuff under the vehicle and what we're doing is we have to package the compressor we have to compact package the tank differently on each each one so that's what changes it but the airbags are the same the computer is the same because the airbags can handle the weight and the sensors that we have are actually what sets your ride height and that's why if you add like a heavy winch bumper as soon as you get up to 25 miles an hour you're right back up to your three and a half inch or four inch lift kit it doesn't care what how much weight you're putting in it it's going to automatically adjust to that height so mark thanks for coming out on the trail with us and, and you know i think the big thing i learned today is A, you can get it through Mopar, which is really cool. Yep. But B, if you are a true off-road enthusiast, right? Yep. I think there was a little bit of a concern, like, is this gonna work with a big tire? Is this gonna work in an off-road environment? Yes, yes it will, which is really neat. Yep. Yeah. So if folks want to find out more, where can they head? They can go to AccuWare.com, but you know what? You can go to your local Jeep dealership and go to the parts counter, put it on the bill. <laughs> All right, folks, let's know what you think in the comment section below. Mark, thanks again. Thank you. Let's go wheeling. Let's go do it. We'll see you next time.